Invitations for Hollywood's hottest party started hitting stars' mailboxes this week, sources tell Page Six. Vanity Fair will host its 30th anniversary Oscar party following the Academy Awards on March the 10th, and we hear that the look and feel of the bash will be extra special this year to mark the milestone. The coveted invites, sources said, have a particularly inspired design this time. The black tie bash at the Wallace and Berg Center for the Performing Arts in Beverly Hills will once again be presided over by VF editor Rika Jones and will be preceded by a VIP dinner plus viewing party. The guest list of big screen talent, power players, pop stars, tech gurus, and of the moment names is, of course, top secret. But some of the nominees this year include VF party regulars such as Emma Stone, Bradley Cooper, Ryan Gosling, Robert Downey Jr., Annette Benning. Jodie Foster, and Martin Scorsese. There are also newcomers like Lily Gladstone and Sandra Bullock. The party with the world's starriest arrivals has come a long way since the first one in 1994 at Morton when 100 guests reportedly arrived for dinner. Attendees included Donald Sutherland, Lee Rodale, Nancy Reagan, Oliver Stone, Gore Vidal, Gene Hackman, Barry Diller, Diane von Forstenberg, and Michael Stripe. A source from Vanity Fair, editor Rika, revealed that Meghan's company with a new name contacted her to get a ticket for Meghan Markle, but she rebuffed. Rumor is Meghan's been dropped by WME. The agency didn't ask a slot for her, but she used a new brand, Sussex, to beg. She's milking royal titles again. Can't imagine many real stars want photos with Meghan. It's career poison. Everyone knows they'll try and make it all about Meghan and Harry. Photo ops hustle the floor to see who they can use for freebies in the future. The Manito couple would try to bring in their security to create the illusion of royal exclusivity, but everyone's VIP at the Vanity Fair party, and it wouldn't work. They'd be insecure and totally ignored. Wouldn't want to be there, given their clown status, but NFI would be more confirmation that they're nothing but losers. The revelation comes as, according to a raw commentator, Meghan Markle is desperate to be friends with the pop star Taylor Swift, whose personal marketing she admires. The actor turned Duchess is keen to be besties with the cruel summer singer and invited her on to a podcast with a handwritten note. Swift never appeared on Archetypes, but that hasn't stopped Meghan's interest in the star. According to Kinsey Scofield, Scofield told Patrick Christie's on GBN America, Meghan attended the Taylor Swift concert in Los Angeles but she made sure the People magazine knew she attended. It was important for Megan to release to gossip sites here that she was there. She wanted people to know Megan's keen take inspiration from the era's superstar. According to Scofield, she said, I think she wants to be like Taylor marketing-wise. Taylor went from villain to hero, and I'm sure Megan's looking at that transition and thinking, how can I do something similar, but Taylor wouldn't choose Harry and Megan over William. William is a long-term play.